Hey, good morning. Happy to report things moving smoothly in Atlanta right now. Over the weekend, though, a much different story. At this checkpoint you see behind me, a passenger's bag was flagged for secondary screening. He then reached in and the weapon discharged accidentally. Folks around uh, this location scrambled. The suspect ran and police still have yet to catch up with him. Panic travelers ran from the Atlanta airport Saturday after gunfire at a security checkpoint. The passenger lunged into his property, grabbing a firearm that was located inside, which ultimately discharged. The passenger then fled the security checkpoint through an adjacent exit lane. Luckily, no one was seriously injured, but it did cause delays. Plus, many passengers had to abandon their luggage, with some being evacuated to the tarmac. Police now looking for the suspect, 42-year-old Kenny Wells. This security scare comes as more than 4 million Americans are expected to fly for the Thanksgiving holiday, more than an 80% increase from last year. Andrew Gross is spokesman for AAA. Thanksgiving travel is back. I've heard it said that folks are looking at this as our first vax giving because more people ages 5 to 105 have at least one dose of vaccination. So people are just feeling more confident. If you are driving instead of heading to the airport this week, expect congestion and high gas prices. The national average of a gallon of gas is projected to be its highest price in more than seven years on Thanksgiving Day at $3.35. Still, more than 48 million Americans are expected to travel this holiday by car. No matter how much gasoline prices are, people are still going to take that trip. They're just going to figure out another way of budgeting in for it. And the data supports that things are already getting busy. The TSA reports there are more than 2 million daily air passengers being screened in recent days. And today is also the deadline for TSA staff to be vaccinated. The agency does not believe that will lead to any disruptions this week. We will check on that. And the best advice for travelers is to show up at airports like this two hours ahead of time if you're flying domestically. And if you're leaving the country, Tony, be safe and show up three hours ahead of time.